Hey there guys, and welcome to Let's Play Tales of Graces F. <clears throat> Last episode, we got to Zavert, which is the capital of the Fendalian military force. And we're trying to find out what to do. Um, before we proceed with that, however... I haven't opened this door, have I? Yeah, there's another room over here that I completely did not know about. Ooh. Don't know. What have been people been talking about? Hmm. Well, I know where that is now. Anyway, uh, before I proceed, I do want to address something that someone said in comments, because it's really important that you guys sort of know this about me. Um, someone was mentioning how I don't react to things very much, and, you know, they'd like to see a little more emotion, and I'll try... Interesting. Okay, that's awesome. I don't know what that did. And I'll try. However, the thing about it is, and anyone that's watched me for a really long time probably knows this about me, I'm really not a very uh, extremely emotional person. I'm a very, very logical, logic and um, oriented person. And so I don't tend to just, like, react to things and, you know, talk about my feelings because I'm not all that in tune with them, to be honest. So, I will try and be a little bit more forthcoming about that, but no promises, because it's just not really who I am. And I have to, like, concentrate on that and try and figure out that aspect. It's just not... It doesn't come naturally for, to me, is what I guess I'm trying to say. I also want to take a brief second and talk before we really get going about, you know, my impressions of what's going on so far. Because there are some assumptions I have, but I don't think I've ever talked them out. And since this is a blind run, I should be doing that, I think. So, right now, from what I can tell about the story so far, um, it definitely does seem as though I don't quite know what Sophie is. I don't think Sophie's a real person. I think she's like kind of like an elemental force and is the antithesis to whatever we found down in the catacombs when we were kids. Um, whatever that thing is, Sophie was not able to destroy it, which obviously because she got... I don't even feel like she got killed. I feel like she got... Uh, dismissed or something, which is why she just came back with her same memories seven years later. But Sophie wasn't able to kill it, and it ended up getting inside Richard. Um, I don't know why it got inside Richard rather than anyone else, but it did. Maybe it... It does seem to have a very much a hatred for the world, and it wants to consume everything. So, I think that's why Sophie's so conflicted, because her essence is telling her to fight the thing inside Richard. But at the same time, she doesn't want to fight Richard. So, that's what I kind of gather from the game so far. Pretty sure that's what's going on. That's my assumptions going forward. Um, they, I haven't said them because they don't really feel like guesses. They feel like, I mean, obviously. So. Don't serve miners. We have Malik. Hell, Malik. Yeah, people have told me to rest at the end before I get kicked out of here, so I shall. And there's no reason to do that. <laughs> That's one of the... I thought I did that once already, and there's nothing there either. So, let's go. People have talked, told me to talk to the, like, angry guard some more. And I shall do that, because he's right over here. Because I couldn't. I was like, who do I need to talk to? But yeah, I guess he's not done yet. Oh, wow. You know, that. Oh, awesome. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Need the big boss in the Ministry of Science making way to trace out the city. Hmm. Okay. Obviously something's happening soon. So no, I still need to talk to the townspeople. So oh, there's another person that I need to talk to. Falcon is. Well, here, I'll go in your place. Interesting. Well, could you tell me where the Valcanists are? Because I really would like to know that. It sounds like Fendel really is conducting experiments on their Valcanists, but we still don't know where it is. I'm still surprised the Amarsians are apparently helping them. 
Um, well, if they're conducting experience on the Valkanist and the Ministry of Science is leaving the city, we know it's somewhere outside, somewhere outside the city. So let's just take out the Minister of Science. Me too. I thought they were all extinct. Man, this is bad. This is really, really bad. What are you getting so worked up about? See, Bendel's Valkanist is kind of wonky, so it's really hard to extract Elith from it. I'm wondering, I think Pascal's from this country. I, I know I said Mala or um, Malik in the last episode, but he is from. Um, I think so. It's Windor, Findle, and the other country that, whose name is completely escaping me right now. But I think Pascal's it's also from really here. Dangerous to extract Ellis from it. And Sophie's from nowhere. And if this little experiment of theirs fails, boom. Um. What do you mean, boom? She means an explosion, Asbel. She means that, like, you see all the bad stuff that's going on in Fendel right now? It'll get a whole lot worse because they won't have anything. I mean, boom! Like the entire country oh, of Fendel being wiped Holy crap. The map. I was expecting the, the, like, Elith would be just the Valkanist would be destroyed, not the entire bloody country. Remember that crater we saw on the way here? That was when a Creus about this big decided to explode. Tiny Creus? Huge crater. Now, think about what would happen if the entire Valkanus exploded. How did you blow it up anyway? Why haven't you told How us yet? I you know all this, Pascal. Because I made the crater. That's why I know this is bad. I'm pretty sure they're using my research for their Valkanus experiment. And why are you acting so surprised, Sophie? We already knew... Or, not Sophie, Sharia. We already knew that. I knew it as soon as I saw those soldiers' weapons at Warrior's Roost. The principles are totally based on my work. But wait... I thought they were using a Marcian technology. Is Pascal an Amarcian? Yeah, I'm an Amarcian. What? That is something. Huh. So, is that why her hair is so weird? Oh, did I not tell you that? I could have sworn I mentioned it at some point. Yeah, so, hey, I have an idea. Let's go visit the Amarcian Enclave. Th th that's a thing? For a race that everyone thought was extinct, there's a whole lot of, like, stuff set up for them. There's gotta be something useful there. We might even learn where the Valkanus is. Is it nearby? Well, it's gotta be nearby. Well, it's not super nearby, but, you know, it's in Fendel. Huh. Well, I suppose it can't hurt. Hold on. Why have you been keeping your Amarcian origins a secret? What is it you don't want us to know? Well, Ian, you're from an extinct race. It's not something you just have to talk about huh? all the time. I didn't tell you because you didn't ask. <laughs> and you. That little show you put on earlier was far too convincing. Perhaps there is more truth there than you would care to have us know. Hubert, stop it. Oh, right. I suppose you don't find this suspicious in the least. I just don't question people about their pasts when I have no reason to distrust them. It's all right, Asbel. Your brother is correct. I am originally from Fendel. However, this is the first time I've been back in over 20 years. I knew it. You still want to travel with them after all this? Uh, yes. Someone who left their home and never came back should not be all that surprising, Hubert. Malik lied about his origins, and Pascal thinks we need to ask if she's a member of an extinct race. I suppose lies and deception just come naturally to these people. I'm sorry, Asbel, but I cannot abide allies who engage in deceit. I will go no further with them at my side. Okay, well, bye, Hubert. We didn't ask you to come anyway. Hubert, wait. There they are. Malik Caesar has been dead for years. Now identify yourself. Interesting. So that's how the records show me. I am hereby placing you and your companions under arrest. Good luck with that. Oh, time to hit the road, guys. Um, they have guns. <laughs> Why is no one shooting their guns? <laughs> the real Amarcian. Huh. So he wants to fight us. Maybe we'll fight him then. I'm trembling. I'm noticing that everyone is coming over here. Um, did my tactics get left on 
They did. Up to you. No wonder I'm having such trouble. Everyone did as well as could be expected. All right. So somehow the entire city knows to fight us now. This is, interesting. This is the first time I've ever gotten to fight in a city. I expect the best. So I didn't have to use. So where am I going actually? Escape from Zavert. Well, I'm going the wrong way if I'm trying to escape. Unless I need to take another exit. <laughs> you guys got nothing on me. Because they pushed me this way, and so I assume I'm trying to go... Yes, this is where I'm supposed to go. I almost went back the way I came, but I said, no, that's not the way the plot's going to take me. Okay. We should be safe here. How do you figure we're on a bridge? What do we do now? Are you sure you don't want to go to the Amarcian Enclave? We're pretty much headed in that direction already anyway. It's a little cold, but it's still super nice. Come on! <laughs> Stop! Let go of me! Okay, so much for he's not going to travel with us. Once? And like the entire time you've been alive, you once saw someone come down from the mountain? That's not particularly encouraging. Right into next week. I've traveled back in time from next week. Please stop throwing monsters at us. Well, those were people, actually. <laughs> All right. So I will be back when I get to a um, scene of some sort, because as I can tell right now, oh, I thought I'd go, go along the coast, but I don't appear to be. Um, as of right now, I'm just going through another area infested with enemies, and you know what? I don't think you guys really want to see me fight all day. I mean, I'm sure some of you do, but I don't want to show that because I'm bad at this game. So, ha. <laughs> Fendel Research Laboratory. Okay, so yeah. Thank goodness this is here, because this sign just tells me that the mountain is that way and the research lab is that way, and I'm like, I don't know which way it is. But if you press this, it actually also says that, yeah, go this way. So thank you, game. That is really, really helpful. I wish you had done that back when I was looking for those monsters. This blizzard's strong. The wind's so strong. <sighs> oh, I got to touch Sophie. I command thee, O oh wind, <laughs> blow harder still. These winds are really picking up. Should we continue? The Enclave is a short ways ahead. What you think, Captain? I suggest slow but steady progress to avoid exhaustion. Do you object, Hubert? No, I have absolutely no objection. Mount Zavhurt is the highest mountain in Fendel, after all. Also, I'd just like to say, your judgment has always been prudent. There's no need for us to question it. Please, after you. Huh. What is going on there? After, like, saying we can't trust him, we can't trust him, we can't trust him, now that he's giving him the opportunity to object, he's like, oh, no, no, we can trust you, absolutely. I mean, obviously, I think he's being cynical, but I don't really get his game, I guess? Does this tell me? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I will see you at the Enclave, most likely. I'm not talking to you. Focus! This will be tight! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> 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 
Holy crap. Really? This is a This will be tight. Dude, 
struggle no more. Dark days are coming. The flames are passing through. That's ruling flare. Take this. Forgive me. Everyone, stay on your game. Call out a warning in this game. Oh, here we have something. I just heard something. It was the wind, Sophie. Probably not. Look. Um, hi there. It's just another stupid animal. No need to panic. No! Don't turn your back on him, little bro. Pascal? Ow! You okay, little bro? Stand ready. The harsh climate has turned ordinary monsters into rampaging beasts. They'll charge at the slightest opportunity. Here it comes! Focus! This will be time. Okay, so 73,000 Blade Horde bur Boar. Right. B arcs, but not very weak B arcs. Whoa, Sophie! How are you dead already? Holy wow, this thing's strong! This is when I need to learn which ones are which, because man, he can only attack one at a time, but whoever he attacks has to be freaking perfect. Oh, forgive me. And I'm not freaking perfect. I expect the best from everyone. No, 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 back, get back, get back. Chase shot. Okay. So, he's weak against B arts. He's petrified. Sophie, get away from him. Heal! Aqua bullet! Flare shot! 
shot. Well, why are there other people here? You guys need to get the heck away from here. You're not welcome in this battle. Oh my gosh. Keep moving, Sophie. Ah, stupid Sophie. Hey. Oh, forgive me. Man, that's that that's something. That's definitely something. Hey there, guys. Um, I discovered some pumpkins by accident. I'm actually just sort of going around seeing what else I can see, because there's a boss that you're going to see me fight in just a second. Um, I've actually already fought him at this point in the recording, and yeah. I won't say that I'm grinding exactly, but I am exploring the rest of the area to see if there's anything else I can find. Uh, but yeah, pumpkins! Huh. I bet pumpkins raised in the snow must be especially sweet. Hmm. Hubert, are you interested in pumpkins, too? Do you want to take some with us? No, that's not necessary. Hmm. <laughs> Hubert has been looking at me ever since he joined us. I wonder what he wants. Pumpkins. Hey, is there something you want to ask me, Hubert? It's better to let it out than to bottle it up, you know? There is something that's concerned me for some time now, but... Hmm, how to put this? Go ahead, speak your mind. If I may be blunt... That skirt is far too short. Huh? My. I agree. You're in the snow. A distraction to everyone during combat. Do you understand how much of your thigh you're revealing? It's an affront to basic public decency. Hey, come on, Hubert. Stop staring at me like that. Well, then you should start dressing more appropriately. <laughs> I'm trembling. Interesting. <laughs> Unexpected. Oh crap! Really? Holy wow, 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 no, Mal Malik, stop! We need to get out of here. Okay, um, I will see you next time. Ow! Okay. Not you. Okay, and I'm going to need you guys kill them off. Kill off the weak ones. I do not want you focusing on the boss. Good. Let's make it 
Not an apple gel. I, I just saved you. Sophie, I'm going to need you to dodge the bloody boar. You're still alive, really? Now, you need to stay up. No, you need to stay up. Okay, come on. I need you to dodge a little bit better. Come on, thing! Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Let's go. Healing wind! First game! Baby! Die! Die! Death by moonlight! Stupid boar, will you stay still? I don't know how to stop it from charging. At least, like, occasionally they'll end up hitting it. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, stop hitting me, stop hitting me, stop hitting me, stop. I'm about to die, stop hitting me. Okay, there goes one strut of the strottoms. There, here goes another one. There's one more Harvey. Shine 
did it! Fall! Gotcha! Blaze of life shine upon us! Fall! Okay, good. Up. No, you're not allowed to be dead. Okay, stop hitting us all! Jeez, you freaking... I don't know how to stop him! I mean, he just goes! I mean, occasionally I can make him, you know, when he attacks me like that, I can counter, but... Okay, he's about to go into his next phase. Oh crap, Hubert! You need to dodge him! Okay. He's pretty low, actually. But let's do this right. Okay, he's doing his stupid burrow thing now. But I don't know who he's targeting. Um. Can I. Okay, I can't even see what's going on now. First of all, use a peach gel on me. Secondly... Secondly... Okay, there's that one. Okay, that one looks like she's going for... Nope. Okay. Now, get our healer back up. Not 
Oh, come on, you stupid boar. It's important to pay your respects. I'm sorry for the lack of commentary. Um, wow. That was crazy. I cannot properly express to you just how much work that took. I'm sorry for using an all divide again. Um, I think I actually may have been able to do it without one, but man, I was just sick of trying. <laughs> sick of trying. Wow. So, Phantom Flash. So, we learned stun. Awesome. 